Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to today's episode of Kilts and Culture. It may be our last, depending on how horrible this is. <laughs> we may be shunned. We are trying the now internet famous or infamous Guinness and Iron Brew cocktail. Just to reiterate. Yeah. That's uh, here's our pour, my pour attempt. Yeah, I'm not I'm too bad. I'm pleased with the pour attempts. Yeah. It's definitely definitely worked. What, um what I like is the bubbles coming up through the iron brew. It's like it's yeah. like it's like a poor man's lava lamp. <laughs> the online name is Iron Gin, which I think is absolutely shite. Iron you don't gin. call a half and half a baskin. You don't call a cider Guinness a Saigon. Why would you call this an Iron Gin? Ah, oh, doesn't make sense. So, okay. three of us got to come up with names. I got what one. What we think this should be called. I got one. I'm going to pretend it's classier than it is. I'm going to call it a Dublin Sunset. Dublin Sunset? A Dublin Sunset. I like I like Thank the classiness you. there. I like Thank it. You. Nothing says class like Iron Brew. <laughs> <laughs> Mac. I, I had two floating around. Okay. Uh, but uh, I, I will go with one, one of the two. Okay. I'm going with Black and Brew. Black and brew. Black and brew. Black okay. I like that. No, I like that. That's okay. more appropriate. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yep. Um, this one was inspired by my son when we were actually. I showed him the video telling him what we were going to do online, and he said, "Dad, that's orange and black. That's a flyer's drink." And I was like, "Damn it, boy, you're brilliant." So, how do I appropriately honor the flyers with this drink? Uh oh. You ready for this? I'm and this sure one, this one was a little bit of a mixture, of, and okay. Lucas helped with this naming as well. Oh, now I'm really so I, scared. So I've cheated a little bit. Okay. This is oh, what the heck did he call it? Uh, <laughs> he forgot. Oh, I forgot the name of it. Oh no, no, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. Gritty fuel. Gritty fuel. Okay. Gritty fuel. I think it actually works. If there are two characteristics of the mascot Gritty, he is hyperactive and he kind of seems drunk. If he was fueled by something, I would imagine it would be something like this. Okay. I can't remember. Is, is Iron Brew caffeinated? I know there's a hell of a lot of sugar in it. I have I have one other I have one other name. Oh, I'd put like it in to a put, second I'd like to put now. forward one more. All right. North Sea Oil Slick. The 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 Irish guy that tried this also did. There's a blue. They call that blue, an oil like slick because there's water, water and oil and, on yeah, top. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So. Okay, never it's, mind then. I, I get the North Sea part because it's the Scottish, you know. Exactly. Scot I get it. Scotland I get it. Ireland. I get it. All you out there, tell us which name you think fits best. And spoiler alert, the answer is Gritty Fuel. All right. <laughs> Not according to the results so far. Shh. <laughs> Shh. Lie to us, Mac. There's mud in your eye. Yes. All right. Now, see if we can taste the Guinness or the Iron Brew. Mac. I'm confused. I'm. <laughs> Me and Eric kind of have the same reaction going on right now. <laughs> I don't hate it, but I'm not sure I like it either. <laughs> um, I'm not getting. I'm. I'm so far. I don't know if I'm not tilting it enough. I'm just getting Guinness. I'm not really getting Iron Brew much. You want my first impression? Uh -huh. If a root beer lollipop could go bad, it tastes like. Okay. It's like bad root beer. I, I get where, yeah. Like it, it, root beer that's been in the sun in your car for a summer and it started to ferment. I, it's, I don't, yeah, it's just, this is weird. I see what you're saying about the root beer thing. To me, it tastes much more chocolatey. So I'm getting like a, a bad, rancidy, sweet, fake chocolate candy flavor. Yeah, it just, it reminds me of like, you know, like you're, you got that soda that you left in the car at the beginning of the weekend at a camping trip and you're going home and you're like, uh, I'm cares? I'm gonna drink something. it anyway. Yeah. And it's just yeah, like, yeah. 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 Tastes like yeah, flat chocolatey root beer. I just want my Guinness and I want my Iron Brew in separate glasses. I'm I think, disappointed. Well, I was hoping I was. I actually, thought it was gonna be better. I was kind of hoping I would like because I'm a real big fan of black velvets and snake bites. I will definitely take my stout and a cider or stout and you know something else, but it's just this doesn't quite work like I was hoping it would. I thought yeah. just for just for giggles this would be fun, but it's not. Yeah, I was hoping to give it like a weirdly positive review, 
and I'm. I mean, I'll finish it because now I'm just getting mostly no, iron I have brew. To. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now I'm just getting iron brew at this point. It's a, but it's a, it's a thing of pride. You have to finish this. <laughs> yeah, Mac. What are your What's your take on it? I, I'm still confused. Um, <laughs> I think part of it, maybe maybe if the iron brew was colder, because we didn't really have that too cold. Yeah, yeah. these were both re- there's like room temperature. So they weren't cold. I'd argue a good drink shouldn't have to depend on temperature. Agreed. But, a bad but drink I, would. But, I don't, but I, don't, <laughs> I don't disagree. I think if it was chilled, yeah. You know, It'd be a... Cellar temperature. Yes. Cellar temperature. It might be at least tolerable. Yeah, I think maybe that's part... Maybe that's the trick. Well, now I got Because there's a little... What are you doing? <laughs> He's gone all in there's now. There's an open beer. You don't leave an open beer. <laughs> I mean, a little Guinness and mostly Iron Brew, it starts to taste like Coca-Cola. Yeah, now that you've said that, now that, that, because I was trying to figure out what exactly that that taste was, and it does taste more like flat Coke now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and what I just did, when I poured that Guinness in, I didn't pour it over a spoon, so it mixed with the iron brew that was in there. It tastes like a, like a, a a rancid cherry Coke. It's, I got a little, it's like. I was about to follow your, your lead here, and now you got me one. I won't say rancid, all right, fine. It's not rancid. Tastes wonderful, like cherry Coke. (laughs) Um. We are getting a few people saying mixing it together and not better. pouring it over the spoon is better. So yeah, so we yeah. are getting a few people just pouring it over the spoon for the visual, honestly. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. So, so you do it for yeah. the gram, Eric. Just for the yeah. That's what the kids say now. You do it for the gram, son. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah, this tastes like a funky soda now. Funky soda. Like a like a cream ale. Yeah, I was about to say like I almost a, have a vanilla. Yeah. Vanilla creamy. Okay. Yeah. So that's our tip, I guess, is don't don't well, bother with the visual. Oh, do the visual, take the picture, and then swirl it all together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. That good, huh? I don't know. I'm still confused, like Max. Said. I know. My brain hurts with this. It's. That's not all. It's gonna hurt. Just give it. A, <laughs> just give it a while. Uh, Was well, is Iron Brew is a, a hangover cure, right? So this, this yes. should, should cancel each other yeah, out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're gonna be like wide awake from the sh- from the sugar, <laughs> drunk from the Guinness, and you won't have a hangover. Exactly. Oh, oh yeah. Something. I mean, I don't want to waste it. I know. No, we gotta kill it. You gotta do it. All right. While we're while we're suffering through this, Mac, score one to ten. I'm going five because I'm still confused. I'm going right in the middle of the road. Yeah. I, I could go either five? way with this. R- even that high? Yeah. I'm just gonna get five. Middle of the road. Okay. It's like a, yeah, like a really really sweet Guinness now. And that's what the people who like it said that I mean it was basically just, it was Guinness but sweet was the thing I went, I yeah. remember from the one in video I watch yeah All when right. you mix it you definitely get that alright yeah. so we are getting a few people saying it, it is better cold and the one guy here Chuck just says that it was his is almost near frozen so okay. in temperature might have something to do with this okay um, so Eric score 1 to 10 4.2 4.2 it's, it's a novelty and yeah okay I'll try it again sometime at home cold but I wouldn't go out and waste my Guinness and my Iron Brew on this again. 4.1. It improves on the Guinness for me, but it, it definitely... So you're, it, you're a tenth lower yeah. than my score. Yeah. I said 4.2, right? Uh, I think I said 4.2. I don't remember okay. what you say. Felt now. <laughs> the, peanut, the peanut gallery now. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So, that's our review of the, uh, the Gritty Fuel. So, yeah, yeah I... I think that I think <laughs> we can put this to bed. <laughs> Wait for the next if you have right. ideas for oddball things we can do, we like doing the scotch, and we want to continue doing the scotch, but once in a while, it's fun to change it up. If you have ideas for something like this we should try on the show, let us know. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Did Was there any clear winner on the naming of it? Uh, there was quite a few names going around. Any, so there, any there, there was write-in candidates. Are there any that are repeatable? <laughs> <laughs> um, we did have quite a few um, uh, black and brew. Uh, was seemed to be one of the hot, uh, the popular ones. Yeah, I think I like that. Um, yeah, yeah. There were there was there was a few that we we probably shouldn't say back on air. Um, but yeah, there. Love you guys. <laughs> yeah.